some methods are able to return more than just a single value. One way of achieving this is to use the OUT keyword, but it is usually better to return an object containing multiple properties. In this lesson, you'll use the OUT keyword to retrieve multiple values from the TryParse method. To begin, open the TextLand solution from your Sample Files folder. and open dates.aspx in design view. You may remember this page from lesson 2.5. It's used to find the difference between the two specified dates. View dates.aspx in your browser now, Enter an invalid date into one of the text boxes and click Get Difference. An error occurs because C-sharp was unable to convert the text into a date. You could work around this problem by adding try and catch statements but it's far better to eliminate any possibility of an error occurring. You can make this code error-proof by using the try-pass method. Close your web browser now, and open the code behind file of dates.aspx. Now you're going to change this code to convert the text into dates using the try-pass method. First, remove the line that begins date time, date 1. Now add the following code in its place. Date time, date 1. You're going to use this object to store the result of the try-pass method. Now add the following code on the next line. bool date1 is valid equals date time dot try pass text box date1 dot text out date1. Calling datetime.tryPass in this way will place values in both the date1 and date1 is valid objects. The out keyword indicates that the date1 argument will receive a value from the method. If the date is invalid, date1 is valid will be set to false instead of an error occurring. You may remember that using the ref keyword also allows objects to receive values from methods. The only real difference between out and ref is that a method must assign values to any out arguments. Ref arguments can be changed by methods, but it is not enforced by Visual Studio. This means that using out instead of ref is slightly more resilient and less prone to error. When you need to return multiple values from a method, it is always better to return an object containing multiple properties than it is to use the OUT keyword. Programmers often use the REF and OUT keywords as they require less code than creating a class to return values. In an ideal world, however, you should avoid REF and OUT and create new classes instead. Now in the same way, remove the line that begins date time date 2 and replace it with code to convert the date using try pass. That's date time date 2 bool date 2 is valid equals date time dot try pass Textbox date two dot text 
out date2. Finally, you'll need to modify the method to deal with invalid dates. Add the following code on the next line. If date1 is valid and date2 is valid, and then at the end of the event handler, else label date difference dot text equals invalid date. Now test your code by viewing dates.aspx in your web browser. When the page loads, enter an invalid date into one of the text boxes. Then click Get Difference. This time, invalid date is displayed instead of an error occurring. This is a better way of converting dates safely than using try and catch statements, as the code is completely error proof. There are very few methods that use the out keyword outside of the try pass methods for each data type. Whenever an argument is used for output, it will be marked with out in the IntelliSense menu. In the next lesson, you'll learn how to add output arguments to your own methods. Close your web browser now. And close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 4.8. Use the OUT keyword to get multiple values from a method.